everyone. Today we're going to look at some treat dispensing toys or games that you could buy to play with your dog. These sort of things are helpful to provide mental stimulation but also can be used to relax the dog if you have a dog that's a little bit anxious or nervous. So the first of these is about licking. This is a licky mat. These are about five or six pounds each. They come in three different patterns. And the idea is that you smear food in these marks and then the dog needs to lick that to remove the food. So an amount of food that might have taken maybe seconds for the dog to eat, if you put it on a licky mat, could take them 20 minutes instead. So it makes it last a lot longer and the licking process in itself is relaxing for the dog. Certainly Maggie here likes to spend a long time making sure every last molecule is removed from her licky mat. I find they're quite a useful thing to do with the dog in the evening when you want them to unwind. So another option that I have here for seeking things out is a snuffle mat. This is just a kind of flowery shaped one. And the idea, as Maggie's tried to demonstrate for you, is that you drop the treats in and the dog has to find them. Yes, I think she just wants to rub her face. This is a different version of a, lick, of a snuffle mat. This one has little pockets to hide things in as well. So here you could tuck things inside these different pockets and you could use something like this to just hide treats in for the dog to find. But you could also use it if you were training by putting it on a surface and then when it's time to give the dog a reward, you can drop that onto the mat. So a couple of different uses for snuffle mats. There are lots of different designs of these out here, um, out there, and you can spend as much as you'd like to spend. These are about 10 pounds. You can get really quite complex and ornate ones if you have a little bit more money to spend, but they're, they're a lot of fun. So again, for dispensing treats in a way that involves licking or sniffing, we have a Kong. We've got two different sizes of Kongs here. The idea is that you put food inside and the dog has to lick to get that food out. So you might put something like kibble in and then put something softer to fill this hole. There's another hole at the other end that lets air in. It's important that they're not both blocked or you could get a vacuum or kind of suction forming inside. So anything soft could go in here like cream cheese or a soft food and then the dog will spend time removing that. Obviously, you want to use something that the dog enjoys, but it doesn't want to be too difficult for the dog to get that out in case they become frustrated and start trying to chew on the Kong itself. So you can experiment with that and see what your dog likes best. What do you think? Hmm? So that's our Kongs. And they're about, I think, eight to 15 pounds. It depends on the size as, as to the price of those. They're pretty solid, but... Um, you know, there's a dog that can make holes in everything, isn't there? So moving on to toys that dispense treats. This is a treat dispensing ball. We've got two little holes here that we put probably quite small kibble in or little tiny training treats would fit in there. And as it rolls around, the treats fall out and the dog, of course, is rewarded for moving the ball around. So this is as entertaining as it takes to get the treats out. You might want to set aside some of the dog's meal if they eat kibble to put inside one of these or account for that food within their ration rather than overfeeding in order for them to have the treats. So taking this up to the next level, we have a Kong Wobbler. Now, this is a bit more challenging for the dog to use. It's got a weighted base, so it stays upright. There's a hole on the side and the dog has to tip it over in order to make the treats fall out. It unscrews so it's easier for you to get the treats in at the start and um, a certain ginger nutter that lives here as you can see from the marks on this enjoys picking it up carrying it round and on one occasion managed to unscrew it to get the treats out that way but that's not really the idea. Um, this is really hard plastic, but you can maybe see the mark she's made on this. So nothing is indestructible, although it does still function for the moment. These are a bit dearer, about 18 or 20 pounds. But if you have a dog that likes something like this, well worth the money. 
I have found out of all of my dogs, it's only Maggie that really has got to grips with this. And in fact, some of my more nervous dogs are actually a little bit frightened by it and don't really know what to do. So this isn't for the beginner. This is a slightly more challenging one. And then our final toy in our treat dispensing category is the puzzle game. So this is a plastic tray with little inserts that the dog has to lift up to find the treat. So each of these white bits comes out and you'll hide something underneath for them to remove. And they'll show you how to do that now. I definitely wouldn't use this one without close supervision because they seem to like the white plastic removable bits just as much as they like the treats that are underneath. So I hope that's given you some ideas of different enrichment toys that you might like to buy for your dog's entertainment. I tend to let mine share because they get on quite well and no one is possessive about food. But if any of your dogs can be a little bit funny about food or toys for that matter, then it might be better to give each dog a separate toy in a separate space so that there can be no arguments. Well, that's all for today. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.